if there's one occasion which calls for buying the most ornate, exquisite and extraordinary jewellery, it's a wedding, especially if it's your own wedding. Nose rings, mangtikas, anklets, chokers, it's the only time that you can get decked up to the hilt without feeling overdressed. And on today's episode, we're going to show you bridal jewellery designs that'll make you go weak in the knees. Trail with Manubai Jewellers. I'm at the Kingdom of Dreams and we begin our dream journey today with exploring the traditional forms that have wooed the Indian bride for ages, Jadao and Kundan. Both the Jadao and Kundan forms go back to the Mughal era when they were widely practiced in Rajasthan and Gujarat. Jadao or engraved jewellery has an uncut diamond called Polki or Vilandi which is used as a central stone and Meenakari or enamel work to add to its beauty while Kundan uses gold foil between the gems and is perhaps one of the oldest form of jewellery made and worn in India. For all the brides waiting in the wings, get ready to get ideas because today's episode is all about picking the right design in Kundan and Jadao to add to your bridal trousseau. And my quest leads me to a company that has carved a niche in the exquisite Jadao and Kundan jewellery, Mannubai Jewellers. They've been around for five decades and now they've established their own territory when it comes to creating heavy pieces that add that oomph factor to any bridal look. When it comes to design, Manubai jewellers love the contemporary as they do the traditional and the result is a heavy blend of both. Uh, Manubai jewellers as a whole stands for its quality, its service. We have clients coming in from town, from Bandra, just because, you know, uh, we promise a certain quality and we deliver. Each design is a one of its kind and no piece is ever repeated. It's no surprise that they keep adding on admirers to their list, including actress Amrita Puri. I do love the traditional Jadao Kundan pieces that you see. I think that there's nothing like vintage, you know, there's nothing like heritage and vintage and pieces that have been beautifully crafted. And uh, yeah, I think that when you're getting married, uh, leaving aside being a woman of today, it's wonderful to go back to your roots and really wear heritage pieces and wear these beautiful stones, uncut, rough stones. I, I think that's something that I, I love. My bridal jewellery trail with Manubhai Jewellers will take me to Burivali, the heart of suburban Mumbai where Manubhai Jewellers stores are located. And I have a rendezvous lined up with Samir Sagar who will be the perfect guy to help me discover Jadao and Kundan jewellery. Hi! Hi Noid, welcome to Manubhai Jewellers. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. So Manubhai is so famous for its beautiful bridal jewellery. I want to know why the name Manubhai? Manubhai is actually the name of my granddad. And he started the whole business. So uh, he was in Gujarat, and he used to manufacture all the ornaments by himself. Oh, really? Yes. And then we moved to from manufacturing, we moved to wholesale and exports, and now retail since the last 20 years. And I'm in your store in Burivali. I want to know why Burivali. In the last few decades, what we are seeing is lots of uh, people are migrating from Mumbai, the town, to the suburbs. And we are getting a lot of new money here. Right. Okay. A lot of money has been pumped into the society, the public in general. So the buying power is really coming up. Really? Every top jewellery unit has a store in you know, Borivali. They have big stores here now. Since there's so many beautiful bridal sets, it's absolutely impossible for me, me to pick one. But why don't you pick your favourite? We'll start with the most traditional of the designs, which is a kantha. Kantha, okay. So this is a this is what you call a kantha. You know, all these layers coming in. Right. Kantha is basically a long set. Okay. With lots of ladies. Right. So you have different yeah. ladies, different yeah. layers of Got different it. work. Got it. So basically, you start with the jadao work over here. 
This is the jada work. This is the jada work. Mm -hmm. You know, you have takka kundan here, a normal parap kundan here. Okay. Then a lots of mix and match here. So you have nakshi work here. Right. Lots of South Seas here. Right. And you wear it on your bridal set. It looks amazing. And South Sea furs are actually very rare, right? They are. They are. So and this so this this makes it more special. We also use more potas here. So can we give us a real? Potas are these stones, potas right? Potas are these stones. Yes. It gives a royal look to the whole set. Of course. Yes. And speaking of royal look, I must try this one. Imagine you're wearing a lenga and you're put on this kanta. You know what? You can really team it up with a nice choker. So this, in fact, looks like a set. It does. It does. So it has both the elements. You know, it has nakshi here, a lot of jada over here. Right. Now what we have done is we just put one you know, pearl. pearl here to you know give it that statement look. Tell me about your next favorite. Sure. Now what we'll do is just move on. Okay. So now this is also jadao set. You know, by jadao, it's all all jarta here. Exactly. So when you say jadao, what do you mean by this another jadao set? See, the meaning jadao is something is set in a you know kind of a lark. Right. Where it is properly set with gold. Correct. It's not just on prongs like you have diamonds. Right. So jarta is ah. an elaborate process where say a diamond takes around five minutes to set. This each stone takes an hour. An hour and a half. Correct. So that is the whole concept of jartal. Because it's actually so, intricately carved into one entire piece. So a piece like this is actually really modern because this is extremely contemporary, but yet the whole you styling have... is bold and you know is a kind of a statement piece. Right. What is happening is people are wearing modern gowns and now you know. And they still want their gold and they still the jarao, want the tradition. Yes. Yeah. So so you cannot you know if you're wearing a you know, off-shoulder gown. You cannot wear something like a kantha on it. Correct. It's very odd. Correct. So that is what we started doing, getting contemporary design out of the old jadao look. I could totally wear it, even with something like what I'm wearing today. Imagine this was a gown. I can totally carry this off. It is like a statement piece. You have earrings and you have that set, and you're done. So what we are doing is the new collection that we are designing. Everything is on contemporary lines. So it appeals to the modern bride as well. You know, I see a very interesting. I don't know what that piece is. That is actually a hybrid. So it's it's a combination of a sh short and a long set. What is this? It looks like coins. You've seen those old uh, old time giddies that yeah, used yeah, to yeah. come. Yes, we changed it into you know semicircles and the kariger set, doing all these grooves by hand. Yeah, so it'll take around you know one hour, one and a half hour to just put the grooves on this one point. All these jalis on the sides again, completely, completely hand done. Yes. Wow! And all these, the rubies in there. See, uh, this is a new setting that has come. We call it a fish cut setting. Fish cut, okay. Fish cut setting. It's because just because it looks like a scale of fish. Yeah. Ah. So it's a karigal language. So it looks like a fish. So you say fish cut setting. So we've seen the heavy bridal jewelry. But tell me, for the big day, there is the sangi. There's a mehndi. Mehndi, yes. So what about? You know, a set for that. Yeah, we have many variations. We are showing you the best. And again, it has a lot of old school elements. Like this is a chipla. This is the sadhani coming over here. Okay. And again, you have those red markises set here. And tell me, a piece like this, just this, is this what is the pool? This is kundan. This is kundan. Kundan, kundan jarta. These you can wear it at a mehndi function. Yeah. Probably at a sangi. No, it's beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite pieces, honestly. Very simple yet very striking. For a short break, but when we return, I'm going to help Palak, a bride to be, pick out her perfect wedding trousseau. So stay tuned. Once they make a piece for a certain client, it is never ever repeated. So if I'm wearing something, I don't see anyone else wearing that piece, and it's only it only belongs to Asia. <laughs> Welcome back to Jewelry Trail with Manubhai Jewellers. How a bride looks on her big day is dependent on the jewels she decides to don on her wedding day. And whether she decides to go contemporary or traditional is totally dependent on her personality. Today we're going to give a helping hand to Palak who wants to buy a jadao set for her big day. Good to so see nice you. To so are you ready? I'm so excited. 
welcome. Hi Rajvi, how are you? Hi Noor, he is very good. Rajvi meet Palak. She is of course the bride to be, and Palak meet Rajvi. She is going to give us our expert advice and of course help us pick out her bridal jewelry. Sure, just have a seat. Hi, thank, thank you. you. So tell me, the wedding is coming up soon, and have you gone shopping at all for jewelry? Do you know what kind of jewelry you want? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. So that's why you step in and help me out select jewelry. It's a lot of fun. Let me start by saying that. But tell me, um, you know, what's the color of your outfit? Because if your jewelry, it has to sort of match or go with the outfit. Otherwise, it will just stick out like a sore thumb. As opposed to you know, being a part of the outfit. So what color is the outfit? Well, mine is completely traditional, red and gold. Okay. And I would like something that would complement it. Right. And I also want something that's traditional. Okay. I, w I don't want the whole contemporary mix and match. So you don't really? No, I want a nice traditional uh, jewellery set. You know you've come to the perfect place because they have tons of traditional bridal jewellery. And Rajvi over here is going to help us pick out some jewellery. Sure. As you suggested, you're wearing something in red and gold. There are a lot of options here which will go well. but. I think this will look the best. It's got antique work, kundan, a lot of kundan work, emerald, rubies and a South Sea pearl. It's got a beautiful pair of earrings with it, which will look nice. Okay, there's one more choker which I would suggest to you. Um, this one. It's again got antique and a ruby and a South Sea pearl, but the work is very different, the artwork, the, the karigas are different. so. Along with this is these jumkas. Jumkas are quite in, I guess. It goes well with and it. And being a choker, you can also, if you want to just yeah. wear it as a choker. Yeah. I think she should definitely try it on, so you'll get a better picture as well. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards that one. So I would like to try that. Sure. Uh, maybe we should team it up with the uh, earrings to see the full final set. Do you like it? I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't think we need to try on the other one also. I think you found your set, right? Yes, I can. So all that's left is of course bring your parents, let them approve. Rajvi, you're going to be one very happy woman. So great. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Nahi. You're most welcome. Thank you, Rajvi, actually. Thank you, Rajiv. You've been an expert guide. Thanks so much to come. Palak was lucky to find what she was looking for so easily. Now we'll meet some celebrities who love Manubhai jewellers and will tell us about their bridal sets. When I come to Manubhai jewellers, I know I'm assured of uh, quality heritage pieces that never go out of style. So you can see Natalie is not from India. I needed her to know how Indian jewelry is so important to uh, any kind of celebration and any kind of function in the family. Our whole family descends over here and we take all this place. So one of our jewelers actually is helping her understand uh, cultural heritage in terms of jewelry. I was really impressed by the intricate designs and patterns, something I really haven't seen before. And you can really tell that there was a lot of craftsmanship put into this work. Manubhai jewelers are one of a kind. Uh, they're extremely exquisite with their designs. And what is the best part about their jewelry is that they are very unique. Once they make a piece for a certain client, it is never ever repeated. So if I'm wearing something, I don't see anyone else wearing that piece and it's only, it only belongs to Asia. I was introduced uh, to Manubai Jewelers because of uh, my wife, Rashmi, and uh, once I visited that place, I just, um, I just got addicted to it. Because uh, lovely designs, uh, a lot of variety, and of course, uh, quality is good. And of course, it's my wife's uh, favorite, so I don't have a choice. They have a best Jadao collection and uh, Nandish has gifted me one of these. 
We return after a short break on Jewelry Trail with Manubai Jewelers to give you ideas for different bridal looks to team with your Kundan and Jadao sets. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Jewelry Trail with Manubai Jewelers where we are discovering all there is to Kundan and Chadao bridal jewelry. And no matter which part of the country you're from, you can always weave some Kundan and Chadao magic into your bridal look. Here are three great looks. The engagement look. Contrast of vibrant fuchsia and arkali with a heavy choker and jhumkas and you're set for the engagement. For this look, I selected a choker. So, which has, you know, all these South Sea pearls at the end. All the stones that you are seeing are faceted garnets, along with some emeralds in it, and a lot of jartar again, yes. This Sangeet look. A bright yellow lehenga choli teamed up with a choker, bangles and ring is perfect for your Sangeet. For this look, we went for again for a very nice choker, but the difference is along with Jadao, this has a lot of emerald and ruby potas. Now the potas, you know, they really look regal. At the same time, they you know provide that statement look to the piece, and the whole thing can look very traditional at the same time very modern. The wedding look. A traditional red lehenga koti gets glammed up with a full bridal set of a long kantha, choker, bangles and mangtika. We have used choker on the top and a nice kantha in the bottom. The choker has South Sea pearls with nakshi paras you know, and again potas. And the choker has lot of, lots and lots of chadao element to it and a nice tone for that statement piece. Those were some dreamy looks to make your matrimonial debut from Manubai Jewelers Collection. And now that you've got some great ideas for your wedding day looks, here are some do's and don'ts. Do buy jewellery that is comfortable to wear for long hours. Don't buy your jewellery at the last minute. Plan at least six months ahead of your wedding. Do click a picture of your bridal outfit and carry it with you when you go to choose your jewellery. Don't wear flashy jewellery during a day wedding. Wear elaborate but elegant jewellery. So whether you've decided to go classic, elegant, bold or extravagant, always remember to explore Kundan and Jarao to glam up your look. It's time to say goodbye but we'll see you next week with yet another jewellery trail. Until then, goodbye.